Hello everyone, Centaurian Union Sam here providing you with another Let's Play video. Last time we conquered the Great Gate, and uh, before that we conquered the Jungle jungle Rollers. Now, neither of the two levels we could get the gem, but the next level we could get the gem, and that level is boulders. Now, as you see, I completed three levels, that's because uh, my previous uh, two recordings uh, had uh, some difficulties because the screen came out really blurry and everything, and that was not of YouTube quality. So, but I can go through them again. Um, I'll still get all the crates as I'm supposed to. In this level, it and this level is a change of scenery. Very beautiful, still in the uh, jungle scenery. But we're going backwards this time. And the game even shows you by having the Wampa fruit in the shape of an arrow pointing backwards. Now, why do you ask? Are we going backwards? And why such fast paced music? Well, there you go. This entire level, we're supposed to survive getting crushed by a boulder. So basically, you just run backwards and don't let the boulder hit you. Don't. The boulder is pretty slow, so uh, you can outrun it easily. But the issue is the obstacles in your path. Like you could fall into pits or um, run into gates, and you're still required to get all the crates. Now the the boulder won't get the crates for you. It will jump over them because of the mountains uh, it's cleverly placed behind it. So. But it's easy. You can you can run and still spin, and the spin will actually propel you forward a little bit. But this is a very cool level, uh, resembled off the Indiana Jones. Now, I like I very much enjoy all the Crash games, but this is my least favorite out of all the Crash games. I still like it a lot. Like I like all of them almost equally. But it's because this is the oldest one, and there's like Crash doesn't have all the moves he has from the other games. There's not all the level variety from all the other games and the, the controls are very stiff in the other games and and if and I already got the gem so that's why the animation didn't appear in me getting a gem and anyway this next level and now by the way I'm having a change in video in uh, my style of videos um, now I'm going to do I'm gonna try to keep my video below 10 minutes or around 10 minutes. So if the level is way too is really fast, like that one just was, I'll tackle another level. Before I try to like do one level per video, but some levels are way too short. Like as you guys remember, the jungle rulers were way too short. Anyway, speaking of this level, another change in scenery, very beautiful upstream scenery and uh, overhead camera this time. Very nice. This level, the real hazards are only really uh, drowning. Crash cannot swim. These lily pads here, once you jump on them, they'll sink to the bottom of the ocean, uh, to the bottom of the river. And there's those little fish. Um, once again, everything can kill you, e even something as easy as a fish. And yeah. Oh, by the way, these things um, are slippery. You can slide down, so you're just going to have force your way up. But uh, those little fishies, just wait till they're in the in the river. If not, you can just spin them away. Not hard. This leaf doesn't sink; it just uh, floats. By the way, there was a tunnel level here. I I'm sorry about that. There was a tunnel level here, but I already beat it. So yeah, very unfortunate. I hope this uh, error does not happen again. I truly apologize for s <sighs> such a setback. But anyway, those piranha plants you saw me, these piranha plants with the green leaves, um, they snap once you jump on them. So once you jump on them, get out of them quickly or else they'll snap at you. These blue piranha plants, uh, they snap at, at their own timed rate. So you'll jump on it when they're not, um, when their their mouth is open. Now, as you see, we need the orange uh, gem to complete this level, to get the gem in this level. Akuaku cannot protect you from a snapping piranha plant. So, yeah. It's just like falling into a pit. Akuaku will not protect you from falling into a pit. But anyway, that is the end of the level. And I think, and it seems, we still have time for a boss. Yes, the boss is next. And once again, we can't get all the crates in this level because uh, we need the orange gem, which we will acquire in a future level. 
Next boss, Papu Papu. A little background, Papu Papu is an Indian tribe leader and he's not too thrilled with us being in his land. So now he wants to take us out of here. But this is one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. When he is vulnerable, you jump on his head. You cannot spin on him, you'll ricochet back. All you want to do is jump over his staff and dodge his attacks. And then when, when he does do the hammer hit, and um, when he's spinning around, just jump on his head. And three hits, he's done. So there we go. We've defeated our first boss. And, and next time we'll be doing Rolling Stones. This has been the Centurion Union. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Sam, out.